Hello and welcome. The present day global commerce is dominantly tied to the seaports or maritime transport, serving as a major tool for measuring economic viability of a nation. With the ongoing reforms and concession at the nation's ports, government says the port reforms has brought efficiency and productivity in the sector. Special Advisor to the President on Performance, Monitoring and Evaluation, Professor Sylvester Monier, who is also the Chairman Nigerian Ports Reforms Implementation Committee, told NTA News that the process has eased the cost of doing business by reducing the days spent on clearing from about 39 to 7 days. Infrastructure in and around the nation's ports have been overstretched, thereby posing as risk to investors and the nation's economy. Investors in the sector as well as Lagos state government have had to bear the brunt arising from the effect of congestion at the Papa terminal. On the clamor for relocation of tank farms from the Papa area of Lagos state, Professor Monye said that addressing the challenge brought about by the frequency of oil tankers on the roads would only be addressed permanently if the pipelines are put to use optimally. We need to use the petroleum uh, pipelines uh, that a PPMC has in place. But longer term, we need to move those uh, tank farms away. The downward trend in the Nigerian capital market continued Monday as stocks tumbled during the day's session. The all share index and market capitalization shed 0.32%. 287 million equities were traded in today's session in 5,480 deals valued at 4.936 billion naira. 7UP led the advances, followed by National Salt Company and UBA Capital. Nigeria Police Microfinance Bank lost 5% to occupy the top spot on the losers' table. Access Bank, FCMB and Transco were the most active stocks. And that is business for now. The news will continue in a moment with Cyril.